Over the next few years in U.S.-Russia relations, I think the main points to watch would be, number one, watching Russian domestic politics as much as we can. Putin's speech in March about its uh, new nuclear and conventional capabilities, that was really directed at domestic audiences, I think. Obviously, it had an international one security studies role to play as well, but um, it's so hard to know uh, what is really going on inside of Russia sometimes. But I think that there are um, things that are not quite as stable as Putin would have us all believe. So I think that's one pressure point to really watch. So second main pressure point that I would say to watch is going to be the role of emerging technology. And in his speech on Russian modernization, Putin talked about advanced conventional weapons, hypersonics, uh, things like that. And that's really going to play a role in this nuclear balance and nuclear conventional balance. And we still don't know how, the, how Russia or the rest of the international system is going to adapt to that. The third thing I would say to watch is the role of social media in all of this. Events in Ukraine um, really showed us the importance of social media uh, for Russia in particular, where Russia is focusing on a psychological and information warfare. Social media is such an important part of that. And so we can no longer separate out that type of communication from the bigger strategic questions that we're facing. So, but also even here in the UK, we're seeing changes in how social media is regulated. Uh, how is our information being used? And this is a real moving target that I think is, uh, in addition to emerging tech and Russian domestic politics, something we need to watch. I think everybody as citizens has the right to ask questions and to try to understand their government's policies. And that includes nuclear policy, if you live in a nuclear weapon state, and defense policy. These are your tax dollars. You deserve to know how they're being spent. Um, but beyond that, I think it's really, this is such an important time for academia as we're in this quote unquote post-truth era where no two countries really have a shared understanding of the truth anymore. And this is where academia has real responsibility to play a role in trying to help identify what is truth. Um, but I do think it's a great opportunity for academics to make their research more accessible uh, for interested public audiences. Uh, just as a recent example, you know, the past few weeks have been so busy on nuclear things with the U.S. pulling out of the Iran nuclear deal, uh, kind of shaky status of the U.S. North Korea talks. If the public wants to really know what's going on, they shouldn't just be going to a single news source because that's just one side of the story. There should also be more accessible, deeply researched, academically driven and rigorous resources for them to draw on as well. And that's why I do what I do and why I think King's is here and can play this great social role as well.